A few years ago, I was working on the Sherline CNC milling machine, and I really needed to index a small round part. I didn't want to buy an indexing head or anything like that. Even a small one costs at least $100. So I decided I would whip one up really quick. I started with a scrap block of aluminum, the thickness of which happens to be the distance between the T-slots in the Sherline table. That's important later on. I set the block in the four-jaw chuck in the lathe. You can still see some of the tooth marks on the side of the block there at the very top. And this is a picture of the slitting operation. I also did the slitting operation on the Sherline CNC milling machine. The shank of the thing is three quarters of an inch. So that's a three quarter of an inch hole that was drilled on the lathe in the four jaw chuck with a slit in it. The slitting saw I'm using is a high speed steel blade from Harbor Freight. I forget what they're for, but they're not really for slitting. They work pretty well though. The reason it's important that this block of aluminum happens to be the exact distance from T-slot to T-slot in the Sherline table is because that's the method of hold down. It's going to have the same hold down method as the vise from Sherline, where I have the little L bracket things, whatever they're called, that just screw down onto the table on either side. It worked out pretty well. In this picture, I'm adding the slots, but you can see I've also added the threads to clamp the three-quarter inch arbor in the hole. So I wanted to make sure that I could cut the right thread for this little chuck I had. It's a two-inch chuck. I think I picked it up at Harbor Freight randomly just because it happened to be by the checkout with the candy bars. It was inexpensive, and I figured I might need it someday. Looks like I did. The shank or arbor or spindle or whatever you want to call it that the two-inch chuck goes into was just turned out of mild steel. That's all that was required. I think this was a one-inch bar. I left a little collar in the front. You can see there's a little recess for the end of my threading and then turn the major diameter for threading. The end of it, after I had cut it off, I decided to counter drill it and thread it. So I drilled a hole in the end of it and threaded it. The idea being that uh, I could put a 360 degree little template back there. Because there's no screw, there's no worm on this, it's actually indexed by hand and then clamped manually. So the idea was, all I needed was to index it by hand and clamp it into place and just have an indicator on the back that showed me how many degrees I had turned or whatever. Rough cutting, basically. It's easy to get within a degree or two using a paper template. Overall, the fit and finish is good. The arbor attached to the chuck with no problems. Good clean fit, nice and tight. I put some Loctite in there so that uh, I could do milling cuts in both directions, and it worked out pretty well. And here's the whole thing assembled. I chose to use two stainless steel screws. They are countersunk so that the cap heads are at the surface level. They go all the way to the other side, so they're only threaded on the far side. The channel at the bottom is milled on both sides. There's one going horizontally and one going vertically so that the whole unit can also be placed on its back and used as a rotary table instead of an indexing head. All in all, it came out pretty good. I decided just to give it a belt sander finish. Good enough. It didn't need to be very precise. It was a fun project and it was very quick. Made in less than an hour. It did the job very well and it cost basically nothing. I'm sure I paid less than $10 for that little chuck. It held okay and was reasonably true. Thanks for watching.